Hello my lovely Capricorn. Welcome to your September 2019 reading. This is a general reading for you Capricorn. If you would like to have a private reading that is specific to you then you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a private reading from there. This is a reading for Capricorn Sun, Rising and Moon Sign. Also listen to your rising sign and moon sign. Some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. I have had some inquiries about how you go about finding your rising sign and your moon sign. So I have created a video that I have put, um, I have posted and it is how to find your sun rising and moon sign. It's only short. Um, but it tells, it talks about what the rising sign and moon sign, what significance they have in your natal chart and your personality, what impact they have and where they, where they affect you. Um, and there's, I've also put in there some links to websites that will produce your natal chart for you for free by entering your information, your time of birth, date of birth location and your chart will be generated and there you'll also be given your rising sign and your moon sign. I have no affiliation to those sites. I've simply used them myself because they are quite good. They're in, you know, it, it, it's an interesting site. But if you wanted to go to Google, you could um, type in free natal charts and a whole lot of sites come up you can just choose one of those if you prefer. I will put links, I will put my link to my video um, up here somewhere and also a link in the information below. Um, alternatively you can just go to my channel and, and you'll find the video in there that you can have a look at. So let's have a look at what's going on for you Capricorn um, this month. It's going to be an interesting month, month for you. Uh, there's quite a few um, things happening here. It's going to be a bit of a busy month for you. So let's have a look here at what's going on. You're going to enter September feeling like you've done well with something. There's, there you, you have recognition for something that you've done well um, at work, at home, uh, with family, with friends. Um, there is recognition for some contribution or something that you have done. Um, there's, for some of you, it's a celebration. So it's a celebration of some sort for some of you and, and you're being acknowledged for something, um, for success. For some of you, it's success in your life, just being who you are. People are appreciating you and showing gratitude for having you in their life, but there is success around you. If for some of you, it's a completion of study, uh, it's a completion of a course, it's completion of some um, aspect of, you know, there's a promotion that's come up or a job that you've gotten. There is going to be, September's going to see you celebrating, um, celebrating an occasion, celebrating a success. It's going to be different for each of you, but it is, uh, a, you're going to be acknowledged. You're going to be acknowledged and it's going, there's going to be success there. It's crossed by the high priestess and the high priestess is um, having that higher knowing, higher knowledge. Um, the it's it's a very spiritual card it's about connecting with your intuition it's connecting with your inner self it's connecting with your higher self uh, so there is that that connection there um, it's also your success has been divinely guided you you have achieved what you've achieved you're meant to achieve it you this is this has been an, a time for acknowledging you on a higher level there's been um a deeper meaning, the destinies at play, kismets at play, um, it, it's where you're meant to be and this appreciation and acknowledgement is there. For some of you there's also going to be an increase in your intuition, an increase in your higher knowing. You're going to know things and you're going to think, well how did I know that? Where did that come from? It, it, and for some of you it's going to be inspirational thought. I want to say to you if you're writing a book, if you're writing something, if you're doing any sort of, uh, you know, 
producing music or artwork or uh, just dealing with with people you're going to have a counseling or whatever it is that you're doing there's going to be this this information that you give out or this inspiration that you have and you're going to think well where did that come from that's divinely guided it's being it's being channeled to you it's being brought through through you from your from the universe from your higher self um, to produce this work to produce this whatever it is for you that is going to <coughs> excuse me bring you success bring you acknowledgement it's going to be really successful so go with it I want to say to you that uh, some of you are going to have um, an active dream life information is going to come through your dreams you're going to wake up and think oh, I have to write that down or, oh, I have to draw that or I, I need to go to this particular place there's there's kismets at play the synchronicities are there um, if you feel like you need to go somewhere you think why am I going there just go because you're going to it's going to be significant you're going to meet someone you're going to have a connection with something that's going to help you bring that success into your life so it's about following your intuition, following that inner voice because it's going to work for you. It's, it's driving this new, this new stage for you. September is this new opening, this new, um, this passageway to a new um, stage dimension vibra raising rising vibration it's a new part a new chapter whatever you want to call it but there's a new there's newness about it it's about tapping into your your life's purpose tapping into your purpose tapping into what brings you joy um, what brings you passion what ignites that enthusiasm what what brings you excitement this is all happening and it's divinely guided and this is happening very early on in September this is what September is about for you it's this new growth it's this new opportunities it's exploring things that you haven't explored in the past, new opportunities that are opening up for you that are leading you down a particular pathway uh, that is going to be new. Follow your intuition. If there's any project you want to launch, anything new that you want to launch, anything new that you want to start, September is going to be an absolutely ideal month to do that. Any changes that you want to bring in, September is going to be a great month to do that. Things are going to be happening very quickly around you in September. There are a lot of decisions for you to make. There's a lot of decisions. There's a lot of choices. It doesn't matter which one you choose. Choose one. Make it. Make it quickly. Thinking on your feet. You either want to do it or you don't want to do it. It's, it's nothing that you've got to sit and process. It's about getting out of your head and really following your, your inner voice, following that intuitive voice that you have, uh, knowing whether you want to take this path or not, whether you want to go on that trip or not, whether you want to move or not, whether you want to go for that job application or not, whether you want to um, launch a new product or, or, or do something different or not, um, whatever that is for you. Um, whether you want to go for that promotion or not. It, it's going to be different for all of you, uh, but you will know immediately. So don't take time processing. Use September to think on your feet. Make decisions quickly. There's going to be a lot of opportunities open to you. There are no wrong choices here. It's new. This is a new um, phase that you're entering, a new time that you're entering. Um, it's about... keeping your emotions in check too I want to say it's about really not putting out energy or emotion where it's not warranted so really be mindful of where you're going to give your energy to where you're going to invest your emotions that needs to be planned that needs to be you know um calculated it's not something you're just going to oh, I'll give my emotions you know I'll react to this situation I'll react to that situation I'll invest emotion into this situation no 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 it's got to be planned it's got to be planned well I'll take that on I'll decide to take that on because I can see that there's some goods going to come from that so I will put in emotion into that and that can be as far as people go too if people come to you with their problems or needing help or needing your assistance you need to decide whether or not you're going to invest your emotions into that situation 
some situations are, are going to you're going to do that. But if there's someone that you keep investing um, emotion into and assistance into and nothing ever changes, then do you want to keep doing that? Or do you want to pull back and say, well, no, I'm going to keep, I'm not going to keep expending that sort of investment of emotion here uh, and invest it in someone that I'll, you know, help and they will then take responsibility for themselves and there will be self-improvement there. So it's about planning where you want to invest this energy and emotion uh, in September. And I think you're going to do that. For some of you, I feel like that's already that process has already started, this realisation of where do I want to put this energy? Where do I want to give my emotions out? You know, to, it's valuable. I don't want to just keep giving it out. Um, so be mindful. That's something that's really going to come to your attention in September. You've also got the King of Swords here, which is Aquarius, Libra, um, Gemini, male or female. But there is someone here that is going is going to be really um, taking your time and energy and emotion. And um, it, it's you need to be mindful of that because I feel like this person is going to just absorb it. It's just going to pull it in and, and use it for themselves to be propped up. So do you want to do that? Do you want to do that? This is something that you're going to need to decide because you're going to need that creative energy and that emotion for where you're going and what you're doing, which creates this being mindful of this person. So this is this is uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, uh, sun rising or moon sign that is around you. It's an older person um, and you need to decide whether or not you're going to keep investing this uh, energy there or not it's your choice you may want to that's fine um, but I feel like there's a certain amount of um, control here with this person as well so be mindful of of that if it suits you that's fine uh, but they're certainly around and they're going to play a big part with you um, in September it's, it's going to be quite a significant um, impact for you in September so as, as September continues, as September continues, you've got another king. You've got the king of wands here. You've got the king of wands, male or female, and that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Um, that's around you, someone that's really creative, someone that's creative, someone that's a free thinker, someone that um, is spontaneous full of energy. I feel like this person is full of energy um, that's around you. Um, they are always on the move. I feel like I feel like I want to say this person's always on the move, always on the move. One idea, another idea, here's another idea. Um, energetically too, draining can be draining because they never sit still. They're always thinking, they're always doing. Um, but I feel like for you, it's a good influence because this person brings to you this way of being that's different to you, whereas you're more stable and and concrete and let's stay here and let's before you move it makes you know it takes time but this person's bringing in this wind of change so I feel like having this person around you and whether it's in your work environment in your home environment wherever they are um, I feel like it's a good energy to have because they're teaching you how to just loosen up a bit not be so grounded but just allow um, this sort of the winds of change to come in to make decisions and and experiment and try new things and try new opportunities and uproot and give you this movement so September I feel for you is about movement there's a lot of movement here energetically there's a lot of movement there's a lot of ha things happening and there's a lot of decisions that are going to be made so it's going to be a bit of a fun month really it's going to be a bit of a fun month so don't take September too seriously sit back and enjoy it you know really enjoy it and really Get out there and and be spontaneous and and do things outside your comfort zone. Do things that are different because they're going to bring around you some really interesting times and really interesting um, situations and meeting meeting new people, interesting people. I really like that. I really really like that. You've also got the tower here. I'm not too worried about the tower because it's surrounded by some pretty good cards. But the tower really is September is really going to um, rattle you in that sense. It's going to ask you to do things in a way that you're not used to doing it. It's about stepping outside your comfort zone and doing things differently, being more spontaneous, making decisions quickly, 
uh, trying things that are very different to what you would normally do. And this is that, that shake-up. September is going to give you that shake-up of, of um, dislodging old habits that are no longer serving you to get this. It's like I'm cracking that outer shell and, and getting rid of that so that you can then play with what is available here what the, and, have, and enjoy it. And enjoy these new situations that are coming your way, this new environment that's being created, that you're creating, that you're choose. And this is part. This is this is part of your choice as well. These these are the choices that are there for you. Keep doing the same old, same old, or break that shell and and get out there and step outside the box because you've got people around you that will support you, that will come in and also teach you how to do that so that you're still feeling secure and safe in, in stepping outside your comfort zone and doing things that are new. You're being asked, you've got the star here, and the star is always about changing your perspective. It's about changing your perspective on life, on situations, on family situations, work situations, lifestyle situations, how you live your life, what you do, your routine. Um, so it's, again, Speaking of stepping outside the box, stepping back and and looking at things in a different from a different perspective, and you know this this king of of wands here can teach you those different perspectives, can teach you the different perspectives to look at. It's all about choices. It's all about choices. It's all about choices. So step outside the box. And um, change your perspective. Look at situations in the home, family, friends, uh, work colleagues, work environment. Step back, become a third person and look at things as a third person. Look at it from a different perspective. And it's interesting what you will learn and how it will aid you to make choices and decisions that are going to alter a few things that are going on in your life, that are going on, that need to change few things that need to change to bring in that interest and that enthusiasm. But there's success around you in September. So there's nothing that you're going to do that's going to be detrimental. There's success around you. There's success. And the final card you've got is the death card, which is appropriate. It, it is appropriate because it's, it's the death of an old way of being, the death of the old you to allow the rebirth of a new you which is coming out in October and November and December. There's this rebirth of you, this, this phoenix rising out of the ashes to, to become this new person, to become this new you, to, be, to view life differently, to get a different um, type of um, enjoyment out of life and out of being. So I feel like the death card is really appropriate to you because the way things have been is no longer serving you it's time to change and you know in in September you can either choose to do it or you don't need you don't want to do it don't do it it's free it's about free will I'm speaking of the energy that's there for the collective Capricorn um, and the opportunities there for bringing in change which is is really good and I just pulled another card out as your final card and it's about leaving the past behind leaving the past pains and hurts and anger and you know the, all that stuff that you don't need all the lessons that you've had dished out that you've learnt from you don't need to bring the whole kit and caboodle with you you just bring with you what you have learnt from those lessons so that you don't need to repeat them and leave the rest behind so that you can move forward into a new future there's a new future here for you there's a rebirth here for you that is going to be really successful you're going to be really successful and joyous about it you're going to discover things about yourself that you didn't even know were there um, it's fun it's just fun let me draw a card out from the um, oracle cards to see what, what they can say to you, what words of wisdom are given to you for September. Let's have a look, Capricorn, and see what's going on. Fertility. Mm, fertility. It's interesting. For some of you, it might be pregnancy, if that's what you want. But fertility is usually the um, new growth, new life, birth of new plans. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects. 
There you go. It's the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas and give birth to a new to new conditions. How amazing is that? Well, if that doesn't summarize what's been coming through for you, I don't know what will. There you go. Now I'm going to see what's happening with your finances. Wow, that came out quickly. Okay. This is the angels of abundance. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. So all your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and, and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centred in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. It's really speaking of all the things that we've talked about in your reading. Isn't it Capricorn? Let's have a look at what's going on with love for you. Oh, I tell you, the cards are simply jumping out at me for you today. Master. <laughs> Master your emotions. Master your intuition because it's, we, our intuition comes from our emotional state, from our emotions, from our heart center. And it's about mastering that, following your intuition and moving forward with an open heart and embrace, embrace what's coming to you. It also speaks of emotions and not handing them out to anyone and everything, but mastering it and deciding who you're going to give it to and who you're not going to give it to, who are you going to invest in and help and who you're, you're going, not going to let you allow them to learn their own lessons. Um, it's not about just helping everyone and expending all your emotional uh, energy. It's about mastering it and controlling it and being the master of it. How appropriate is all of that, my lovely Capricorns? What an absolutely exciting month. I wish you much excitement, much prosperity and many blessings. If you would like to book a private reading with me, follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading that is going to be specific to you from there. Many blessings, Capricorn.